In this video, I'll show you how to add page numbers in Affinity Publisher. Let's get started. If you'd like to follow along with me, I've left a download link to this file in the video description. Let's start by reviewing this document. So first, you can see we have a beautiful cover page. This whole document is about paper mache. <laughs> As we go through this document, you can see we have a few introduction pages. Then we have our main pages here. And last, we have a few extra pages at the end that we're going to use as indexes. So now that you can see what's going on in the document, let's add page numbers to every page by using master pages. I'll double click on our master page so that we can insert our page number. Anytime you want to add a page number to a document, make sure you select the frame text tool, not the artistic text tool. So with the frame text tool selected, I'll just click and drag a little square down here. And then to add our page number, I'll go to the top of the screen to text. Insert, Fields, Page Number. Now if I zoom in here, you can see we have our page number symbol right here. Let's go ahead and format this by centering it. Using the Move tool, I'll also make sure this is centered on the page. Then to change the font, I'll just triple click to select it. I'll change the font up here. And we can make this a little bit larger. With that set up, now we can go into our document. And we can see that every left page has a page number on it. I think this looks pretty good, so I'm going to go back to our master page. Using the Move tool, I'll select this page number, and then I'll duplicate it across by holding Command or Control and Shift as I click and drag it to the other side. Okay, so now you can see we now have page numbers on every page of our document. That was pretty easy. Now I want to show you how you can customize these numbers. First, let's go to the cover page. Right now, the cover page is designed in a way where you can't see the page number. But if I designed it a little bit differently, you'd be able to see the page number on this page. If you don't want that there, it's very easy to remove. Just go to the Pages panel and right-click on the page then go down to where it says Clear Masters. Now this page no longer has a page number. Next, let's take a look at these introduction pages. Since these aren't really the main part of the document, I would like these numbers to appear as Roman numerals. Wouldn't that be fancy? <laughs> so to do that, I'll just make sure these pages are selected by double-clicking on them. Then I'll go up to our Section Manager. To make these pages Roman numerals, first, I need to create a new section. So click right here to add these pages as a new section. You can see we have our cover page as Section 1, Page 1. And now the rest of the document is separated into Section 2. So now we can customize this section over here. First, I'm going to change this from Continue Page Numbering to Restart Page Numbering. I want to change this because it looks like our document starts on page 2, but I want this to say page 1. You can actually type in any number right here, and it'll restart the numbering at that page. But in this case, I'm just going to change this to page 1. To make this appear as a Roman numeral, you just need to change the number style right here. And you can see there's quite a few different styles. 
I'll close out of this. And now you can see these introduction pages have Roman numerals. However, as we continue through the document, the Roman numerals continue. I actually want these main pages to go back to normal numbers. So let's change that. I'll double click on these pages to make sure they're selected. And then I'll go back up to the section manager. Once again, we need to create a new section for these pages. You can see this starts on page five. I think I would like this to restart the page numbering at page one. And I want the number style to be normal numbers. So now you can see we go from Roman numerals to normal numbers, and that continues down the document. To finish this document, I want these last index pages to have different numbers as well. So I'll double click on them. I'll go to the section manager and add another new section. I'll restart the page numbering for these and I'll change their number style to the lowercase letters. Then I'll close out of this. So now you can see we have a beautifully organized document with custom page numbers. If you want to learn more Affinity Publisher skills, you can check out my Affinity Publisher course in the video description. You'll learn everything you need to work in Affinity Publisher, starting with the very basics and working your way up to more advanced skills. I really think you'll like it, so I hope to see you in the course.